YouTube and welcome to another video and in today's video I have got my September wrap up so all the books I managed to read in the month of September so for September I didn't do really really well I underachieved only managed to complete three books but you know the way I see it is at least I read something and it just gives me the oomph to work towards October and hopefully get some more reading done in October but I was feeling really slumpish for September anyways it is I most of the time kind of I wanted to read but then I didn't want to and I procrastinated a lot because of it so I felt like I let myself down but onwards and upwards I've just got to only improve from now on so guys let's get started with the books that I read so the first book that I completed in September was A Week of Mondays by Jessica Brody. So this is her latest contemporary novel. And this is basically about a girl called Ellie and she ends up revisiting Monday for a whole week. So it's repeated for a whole week, the same events, the same conversations, and she doesn't know why. So she just goes through it, does things differently each day for a week. She's trying to figure out what is triggering it. There must be something that she needs to change in order for her to go back and the next day be a Tuesday. So I found this to be really entertaining and hilarious and funny. Different things happen each day and it didn't feel repetitive even though obviously the story is being repeat like repeated and I adored Ellie as a character I really honestly wanted her to be one of my best friends she is so funny she's so hilarious she's so vibrant and even her best friend Owen he's really cute and quirky and just both of them this is just a great big marshmallow fluff ball of a romance with some hilarious bits in as well and I just found it thoroughly entertaining it didn't take me long to give this a read but I absolutely adored it and I ended up giving this book 5 out of 5 Kit Kats I definitely recommend it if you guys would like me to do a review and a spoilery book talk on this book then let me know down in the comments below and I'll get that video sorted out for you the next book that I completed in September is volume number 2 of Madoka Magica and this is an anime graphic novel as you can tell right here so it's a manga it's very very short now with this volume I found myself to be lost a lot of the time just the story made no sense it felt like there was missing parts and even the ending ended up weird so whether it was because I was going through a sort of reading slump at the time I don't really know um, but I, I don't know I just found myself to be lost so I found it was an okay read pushed myself through it so I gave it three out of five Kit Kats I know there is an anime series to this so maybe I would do better watching the anime series and then it might urge me on to you know continue on reading with the manga series but for now I'm going to put it on hold um, but you know it was an okay read um, I'm sure you guys if you liked if you like these sort of animes and gave it a try then you might enjoy it for yourself but this is basically about a girl called Madoka and she ends up becoming a magical girl and in this volume there's just sort of a couple of other magical girls and they just sort of have to end up trying to work together but that's like the basic gist of what I got from this novel. The final book that I managed to complete in September, it was a reread for me and that is of course Throne of Glass by Sergio Mas, which is the first book that is in the Throne of Glass series. Now, when I first read this book, I actually didn't do a review or a book talk on this, which I was quite surprised. I honestly thought I did. I was searching through my reviews and I couldn't find them. Like, I couldn't find it at all, so I must have somehow forgotten to do one. So I thought, you know what, I do want to reread it anyway, but this time I'm going to write down some notes on it so that I can do a proper thorough review on this. And I feel really, really satisfied with it now. So I will link my review and book talk of this. If you want to click the book over here, it will be there on the annotations. However, I will leave it in the description box below as well for you to check more out on my thoughts. If you definitely read the book or if you like to know my non-spoiler points in it, then that's at the beginning of the video. But I ended up really enjoying rereading this book the second time around. I feel like I kind of even love it even more, even though the first time when I read this, I gave it five out of five Kit Kats and I still agree with that rating I gave it five out of five Kit Kats as well it's just 
is so entertaining. Selena Sardothian, she is an amazing main character and just the adventure that goes on within this book and how it just wasn't boring. I, it's just fully entertaining and I just adored it. I completely adored it and I can't wait to reread the rest of Crown of Midnight. So there you have it guys. These were the three books that I managed to complete in September but you know like I say at least I got some reading done but it, it kind of gives me a massive urge to try and do better for October. So guys let me know down in the comments below how you did. Did you get any reading done whatsoever? You're probably going to actually put me to shame and say that you read about 10 to 15 books but you know it's fine it's fine I will just I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it somehow. But thank you very much for watching my videos always. If you've read any of these books as well, then please do let me know down in the comments below as well. And I will see all of you wonderful, awesome, fantastic people in my next video. Bye!